One of the most effective rigs that I prefer to use when I'm deep sea fishing for red grouper is the high-low rig. It's sometimes referred to as the chicken rig. If you would like to learn how to set up this simple yet effective rig that will have you catching more fish guys, then stick around for this tutorial. Let's get to it. <music> Okay, before we get started, let's talk about the items you will need to build this rig. Number one, you will definitely need some fluorocarbon leader, either 50 or 60 pounds. And number two, you definitely need a sinker weight, heavy enough to keep your rig on the bottom. It can either be a bank sinker or a pyramid sinker, guys, or whatever sinker you decide. Personally, I typically use anywhere between a two to three ounce sinker weight, depending on the water current. And number three, you're definitely gonna need some hooks. Now, I typically use anywhere between a three-aught and four-aught circle hook. One thing to keep in mind when it comes to choosing hook size, guys, is to always select your hook size based on the targeted fish species you're after. And last but not least, you're definitely gonna need a swivel, okay? You'll need a swivel to attach to your main line and your rig. Adding this swivel will help keep your line from twisting, okay? Now that we got everything we need, we can start building our rig. Now, I typically measure out between four to five feet of leader and then cut it. Next, I create my branch line or dropper loop. Now you can either create two branch lines or one. I usually just create one and I make sure that I place it at least a foot from my sinker. Having it at a foot from my sinker allows for the bait to sway above the ocean floor with the current enticing those red grouper. You see, red grouper are dermosal in nature, guys. This means that they spend all of their lives near the ocean seafloor. Therefore, this rig makes the perfect setup for catching those red grouper. Okay, to make a dropper loop, what you're gonna do is grab your leader about 18 inches up with both hands and turn it on top of each other to where it forms a circle loop. Then you're going to create four twists where the two lines intersect, overlapping one over the other four times. Next, you're going to grab the bottom loop and bring it through the gap that you created after the last lapping twist. Bring it up with your thumb and then pull it tight. Now, if you don't get it right on the first attempt, guys, that's okay. Just play this part of the video over and keep practicing. I remember when I was first learning how to tie this dropper loop, I went through tons of fluorocarbon leader just to get it right. But trust me, guys, once you get it, I promise you will love this setup. Now, in the next step, we want to attach our swivel to our rig and our main line. So here's how we're going to do that. Take about four inches of your top leader and insert it through the bottom of the swivel and tie an improved clinch knot. And you want to do the same for attaching your main line. Some people prefer to use a uh, uni knot, but that's for another video. So now that you have 95% of your high-low rig set up complete, the next thing we must do is attach our sinker weight. And the knot I like to use for attaching the sinker weight is a simple surgeon's loop knot. What you're going to do is take about eight inches up from your bottom leader line and fold it over in half, forming a loop. Next, you're going to grab both ends of the folded loop, one end with your left hand and the other end in your right hand. 
Then you're going to fold both lines together to where they intersect over each other, forming a circle loop. Then you're going to take a closer loop and that's sticking out the right side of the circle loop and wrap it around the inside of that circle loop two times and then pull it tight. But before securing your knot, guys, you want to make sure you wet it a little with some water or saliva to prevent that heat friction and to get it nice and tight. Now, all you're left with is a tag end, so just take some scissors and cut it off. Now one good thing I like about this loop is that it allows for you to quickly switch out your sinker for a heavier sinker if the current changes. Now the only thing left is to attach your hook. Then this completes our rig. This rig is now 100% complete. Well, that's it guys for this tutorial. I hope you found it very helpful. If you like it, please hit that like button. If you would like to see more video tutorials like this, please comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification right next to the subscribe button so that you'll be notified when I post new video content. Until next time, let's go get hooked on fishing guys.